he said that all physical laws are relative. And today we know the theory of relativity is proved by Albert Einstein. No one knows about Al-Khindi. He was the person who basically gave the idea of theory of relativity. Later on, he did more research and talked about theory of relativity. Who knows about the three brothers, Muhammad, Shakir and Hassan? Who knows about them? They told the surface area of the earth from an angle at the Red Sea when people thought the world was flat. Chemistry. The Muslims the far advanced in chemistry. Ibn Ayyan, Jabin Ibn Hayyar, they have Latinized the word Geber. So when we read in our textbook Geber, we think it's an European. It's a Muslim. Jabir Ibn Hayyan. We know Geber. We don't know Jabir. He is the person who distilled alcohol. Alcohol comes from the Arabic word al ghul meaning ghost, evil spirit. Alcohol is an Arabic word. He wrote 2,000 different pages only on chemistry. Muhammad Zakaria Razi, he was famous in medicine. He was authority on the field of smallpox and measles. He was the first person who used mercury ointment. He wrote books on children's disease. There are several Muslims and Ali ibn Abbas. He wrote 20 volumes on medicine. Ali ibn Sina, known as Avicenna. Avicenna, it doesn't sound Muslim. Ali ibn Sina are Muslim. Avicenna not Muslim. Who got the title of Aristotle of the East? He wrote the book Kanun, which was referred as a textbook of medicine till as late as 17th century. Who knows Ibn Zuhur? He was the person after Alexander who did research the parasitology. He described the H-mite, the pericarditis, he described the otitis media, he attacked the stomach. Several medical doctors, Azharvi. Azharvi was a famous dentist as well as surgeon as, as well as obstetrician. He invented several instruments of surgery, gynecology, as well as dentistry. We all of us know the other thing, but the media is in the hands of the Westerners. The Muslims are far advanced. But I do agree with you. Today, today, the Muslims are getting backward in science. You know why? The Europeans are being advanced. You know why? The Muslims are becoming backward because we are going away from the Holy Quran. We are going away from the religion. And do you know why the Europeans are getting advanced? They too are going away from the religion. The Europeans are also getting advanced because even they are going away from the religion. The Muslims, we are going backward because they are going away from religion. I would request the Muslim brothers and sisters out here, as well as non-Muslims, they are people reading the Quran. Why don't we read the Quran with understanding? Why don't we ponder over the verses? We have only kept the Quran Kissing and giving on top, that's all. The Quran was not meant only to be kissed and kept on top. It should be implemented in your daily life. <laughs> if you implement the Quran in your daily life, read with understanding, inshallah, again, we will be on top of the world. Hope that answers the question. Now we would give, I would request our volunteers to give opportunity to any non-Muslim brothers and guests we have here at our mics to give them a preference and opportunity and then our other brothers. Thank you. Can we have your name and designation and your question after that? Hello. My brother on the right. I am uh, K. Mahesh, from, lecturer from Sabo Siddiq Polytechnic in the Computer Department. I would like to ask regarding the Muslim marriage system, why Islam allows more than one woman to be married with a man? I mean, uh, apart from that, why it allows multiple marriages after talaqs? And does it harm, I mean, uh, in terms of medical, like uh, AIDS and that type of things? And uh, why that much of, why Islam suppresses the woman that much and don't give the equal status to the woman? As a recent example of Afghanistan, which had happened, that a woman had been beaten uh, as she was out and doing some work and she, she wasn't in the parda. Brother, what I would request you ask question on the topic, Dakir has covered another topic of this question, women's rights in Islam modernizing or outdated. There is a videotape we have available, women's rights, it covers up, it's a three hour lecture, you just put one question, there are hundreds of questions on this topic. Brief, brief topic and he has covered up many of these questions. What do you request? Ask question on the topic. 
why it allows more than one marriages like two three women one ma one man i mean marry more than one no woman. i, I uh, excuse me can uh, i have your name please i didn't k mahesh i am k mahesh huh mai what I, what i would like to clarify is that today the qu the talk is on quran and modern uh, science you may ask any question on this topic not any question outside this topic i would request uh, that if the chair person give me opportunity since it's a non muslim asking a question if the chair person give the opportunity we will make only this as the first okay. exception okay we'll allow this but let's not make in the habit uh, since the, the person the is not ready to leave the mic <laughs> you may think that we may not know the answer brothers we have this rule so that all the question on the topic are covered as dr mohammad naik said these questions what have been posed earlier which was rejected since you are the muslim we didn't allow since you are a non muslim and you are so enthusiastic but i think the chairperson will not give a second chance to another non muslim who breaks the rules we'll we'll allow him usually when we zakir goes abroad also we have a session called open question answer session on the topic or out of the topic today it is not like that today it's only on the topic uh, the brother posed the question that why does islam allow a man to marry more than one wife for remaining questions all your question answer in that cassette even this but since you asked here i'm just giving the reply that quran is the only religious book on the face of the earth which says marry only one there's no other religious book on the face of the earth whether you read the ramayana the mahabharata the bhagavad gita the bible no religious book says marry only one except the holy quran The Holy Quran says in Surah Nisa, chapter four, verse number three, it says, "Marry one of your choice in twos, threes, or fours. But if you can't do justice, marry only one. If you can't do justice, marry only one. Otherwise, if you can do justice, Quran has put an upper limit: two, three, or four. Maximum four, not more than that. Previous religions gave permission for a man to marry as many wives as he want. Quran put an upper restriction of maximum four. You know why?" because if you think logically if you analyze but it says at the same time in surah nisa chapter 4 verse 129 it is difficult to do justice between your wives it's difficult therefore do not turn away from them altogether marrying more than one wife you don't get more sawab you don't get more blessings there is no hadith saying that if you marry more than one wife you get more sawab there's a hadith which says that if you marry you complete half your deen So somebody asked me a question at the time. Does it mean if I marry twice, I complete my full deen? <laughs> no, marriage takes you away from promiscuity, from fornication. Therefore, it is farz. But whether you marry one or two, yet you are only completing half your deen. The reason why Islam gives permission for polygyny—that's the right word—is because if you analyze, men and women are born in equal proportion. But in the pediatric age itself. since the female is the stronger sex medically if you ask any pediatrician he'll tell you the female can fight the germs and disease much better than the male so more female children live than the male children there are more deaths in the male children than female children when you grow up there are accidents that due to cigarette smoking that due to war more male die than female war in afghanistan do you know more than a million people died mainly there were gents whatever it is whatever you said more men die than female if you analyze the statistics india is one of the few countries in which there is more male than female you know why because of female infanticide every day 3000 fetuses are being aborted when they identified that they are females more than 1 million aborted every year in india on being identified they are female that is the reason otherwise if you see the statistics of america there are more than 7.8 million females than males in america alone in new york alone there is 1 million female more than male and out of the population of new york one third are gay sodomite comelut there are more than 25 million gays in america that means there are more than 30 million females who can't find husband in america alone In UK alone, there are four million females more than male. In Germany alone, five million females more than male. In Russia alone, seven million females more than male. And Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala alone knows there are how many million females more. Than